I'm Jesse Goldberg Strassler, voice of the Lansing Lugnuts, co voice with Adam Jaxa, who's not just the voice of the Lugnuts, but the director of broadcasting at Central Michigan University. And now everything is converging mm -hmm. because Saturday night is Rush Night. We're paying tribute to the band Rush, and we're paying tribute to Lansing's own and Central Michigan's own Cooper Rush with his very own bobblehead. Cooper, thank you very much for joining us and fire up. Fire up. That's right. This is awesome. Excited about it. Okay. I want to begin with this. I have the box of your bobblehead right here for your thoughts. And then I've got my styrofoam. There you what go. do you think? <laughs> it's not bad. It's a uh, great old Lancy Catholic jersey. It's the, uh, that's awesome. The number nine. When you were playing at Lansing Catholic, this was your dream, right? Was that someday you would have your very own bobblehead? Yeah, I didn't, didn't expect that one, but this is pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be a cool event. Um, we're excited to be there. Adam, how is this for you? I like it, Cooper. I think we might need to get the fire up chips, though, on the back of the helmet just to kind of blend the two teams. Yeah, no, you just started, you just get two of them. You know, you can get one CMU and Lansing Catholic and make it work, but. It's kind of cool to do a high school and you don't see that often. Let me ask you, Cooper. I read that Coach O'Hearn first discovered you while you were playing baseball, right? Uh, yeah, he got there that spring. And uh, so that would have been my freshman year, under the freshman year. And yeah, he uh, got the job and uh, we needed a QB and kind of worked out. <laughs> and, um, you know, obviously his, his record speaks for itself. Oh, a lot to him and what he's done for Lansing Catholic has been incredible. Did he see you on the pitcher's mound? Where did he see you? I can't. I wish I could pitch. I was not a good pitcher. I had no no fastball. <laughs> but uh, uh, probably I was at shortstop third base. Um, but yeah, loved loved baseball growing up. Did a lot of it. What kind of player were you baseball wise? Like, what were you good at? Were you good at fielding. Good in the batter's box. Good at nothing. Uh, I was always a pretty good hitter, and then. I got up, pulled up to varsity and started, it was actually started really hot. Then I can't hit off speed to save my life. So that was my freshman year and I was kind of burned out with baseball and want to move on from it. But yeah, shortstop, third base. Also, they moved me to third base, which wasn't as fun as shortstop. And um, the hot corner is different. <laughs> but uh, yeah, baseball is good. And they uh, had a really good program when I was there. So it was awesome. Saw someone was breaking down a video of a quarterback and he said, you can tell this guy played baseball before because of his throwing motion. Does the baseball throwing motion relate to quarterbacking and your throwing motion on the field? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, um, you know, it's gotten just more and more over the years, but a lot of the Tom House stuff was a baseball guy and that kind of translates to um, Tom Brady started doing it all and MLB and pitchers and everything has been way ahead of the game in terms of, you know, arm care mechanics, all that things. And now quarterbacks are finally catching up and getting into that stuff too. And it's it's helped a lot of guys. I've seen it help guys um, throw it better, throw it farther. Um, so yeah, baseball is doing it right. How much of a baseball fan are you? I know you're busy with with NFL, and of course you have your family. But uh, do you stay up to up to tabs on what's going on in Major League Baseball? Yeah, I mean, I try to. Obviously, I like the playoffs more. Um, it's a long long season to watch, but the playoff baseball is awesome. You know, and uh, when the Tigers were making a run a few weeks ago, I was paying attention, but a little tougher lately. Uh, but no, I always love baseball. It's all we did in the summer was play baseball in the backyard or travel ball. It's kind of what me and my brothers did. So, you know, it's always, it's always cool to me. I saw Joe Burrow was taking batting practice at a Cincinnati game not too long ago. And, I mean, we just got to get you out there and see how many home runs you can hit. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather do that than pitch. Yeah, the, <laughs> hitting's fun. Hitting's fun, uh, especially some BP where there's throwing them in there for you. See if I see if I can still hit it. With Adam here, let me broach the topic immediately. Was it a difficult decision for you to go to Central Michigan? Uh, no, not really. It was my only offer, um, only chance to go play D one ball, and I kind of kind of took it, committed early, um, going before my senior year. So. I was happy with it, close to home, a uh, really good program, a lot of history there, it produced a lot of players and a lot of good teams over the years. And um, it was just awesome. I was very fortunate. I was happy about that one, that one offer and ran with it. Is it crazy to you to think that 
you took over the starting job 10 years ago uh, coming up in the fall? No, no one has said that yet. Now to think about it, that's, <laughs> that's insane. I know going on year seven now down here and um, yeah, they're adding up fast. It's, it's crazy when you look back 10 years ago. Wow. I'm going to put you on the spot. On the back of your bobblehead, there's a bit of a bio. Can you guess which game you played in at CMU is spotlighted here? Game at Central? Yes. We'll go Oklahoma State game. Not Oklahoma State. Bahamas Bowl? Bahamas Bowl. Seven touchdown passes. Yeah. That was a fun one. That was weird. The uh, first ever bowl game down there. That was that was cool. That was um, that was sweet. You know, staying in Atlanta for four days and playing out there is awesome experience. Have you been able to go back to the Bahamas? I've gone one time, yeah, but uh, one time back, but nothing like that. You know, free Atlantis and playing football and the bowl game environment. You can't beat that. I remember how hot and muggy it was uh, the day of that game. I don't know if you, I'm sure you remember. You guys were obviously playing. I was just watching in the stand. Yeah. It was hot that day. Yeah, I think that contributed to the comeback. I mean, they West Kentucky middle of third quarter. They were out of gas. They were. I mean, both teams were hurting. It was, like you said, it was super, super humid and hot. Um, but I think that's kind of what helped us come back. I think we were in better shape and started turning on the second half, and that was part of it. Follow up, uh, quick follow up, Jesse. Uh, was that your favorite game at CMU? The Bahamas Bowl? Was it Oklahoma State, or was it was it a different game? Yeah, the Oklahoma State one was obviously pretty awesome. Being a ranked team at their place in that type of way um, is going to be tough to beat. Um, There's some good ones. I mean, our senior night game was was cool. We beat Ohio. It was a good team. I always remember senior night. You know, the last home game. Uh, but yeah, probably Oklahoma State was the most exciting one, most one you live with and hear about. I mean, down here is tons of Oklahoma State people, and that's all they talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Adam talks about too. It's fun yeah. to just watch back the highlight with Adam. How many times have you watched back the ending to the game? A lot. I mean, especially back then, I watched it over and over again, and um, you know, every September it kind of pops up somewhere, and you get to rewatch it uh on twitter or instagram something there's some video of it and uh it's kind of crazy i mean still i don't think people realize how good a catch and pitch jesse kroll had on that like very underrated part of that play no one talks about you see Corey running to the end zone but i mean jesse to catch as you're falling down pitch it pretty incredible what was it like to arrive back in mount pleasant afterward it was fun it was a blast it was awesome i think we didn't get home fast enough and uh it was an awesome night for the for the program, for us, for the players, for the school, um, it was a blast. Coop, do you remember uh, Coach Bono on the plane? Even though we we had terrible, uh, we had terrible turbulence on the way back, but I remember Bono getting on the mic and reading off all the text messages he had got from people congratulating you guys. Yeah, I knew. I remember that now that you mentioned it. Yeah, I remember him going through it, and like I said, it was a cool opportunity for everyone to enjoy. I mean, you walk into a tough place and beat a ranked team like that and um especially in that crazy way um it's pretty special it's run by cooper rush we're celebrating cooper with his bobblehead and we're also celebrating cooper the music of rush so what are your thoughts on rush and what's your favorite song i'm gonna tell you one song <laughs> i'm the worst music person alive uh I probably should study up though. I got a few days. I need to. I need to study up. Listen to a few albums on the way on the plane. Here, I'll quote for you. So perhaps their best known song, or perhaps their very best song, is Tom Sawyer. So you Tom can just Sawyer. say this. This is about you, a modern day warrior. Mean, mean stride. Today's Tom Sawyer. Mean, mean pride. Though his mind is not for rent. Don't put him down as arrogant. His reserve, a quiet defense, riding out the day's events. The river. That works, Tom Sawyer. Adam, you, what are your thoughts on Rush? You you took my song. I'm not a <laughs> huge Rush guy, but if I know one, it's Tom Sawyer. So you you pick the one. As you look back at this, Cooper, so we're celebrating you at Lansing Catholic. We're celebrating you from where you came from. Um, how is it to come back to Lansing whenever you do come back, knowing what you mean to this area? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's great. I try to always get back in the summer, uh, at least a couple weeks. Um, you know, we go up north every year with the family. So usually stop in Lansing and um, do a camp with Taylor Moen out in uh, Lansing every year. So we've been doing that, um, which is great. It's awesome. Every year there's more and more kids. Uh, I think it was like 400 last year. Um, so I get back, you know, see some friends, old friends, some family. Um, you know, I always come back and enjoy Michigan summertime. You know, you can't beat it. How much do you hear from people just following your career? I mean, a Lansing native, and then you only go an hour up north, and, and now you're having good success still playing in the NFL. I imagine people are paying close attention to how you're doing. Yeah, it's great to hear from, like, you guys mentioned Coach O'Hearn always texts me and some some high school guys still, and um, just people in the area. My family's still connected there. Uh, my brother still works in the area, and um, so – I hear by and you feel all that support and uh, it's real and it's much appreciated. With Central Michigan, so you went from scout team player of the year right into starting quarterback. With with that kind of ascension, <clears throat> do you draw any parallel to you with the Dallas Cowboys, 2017, 2018, 2019, you had the brief stint with the Giants and then right back to the Cowboys and then stepping in when the moment came to beat the Vikings and then once again stepping in last year, that this is ready to you for when your moment arrives, you're ready. Yeah, it's the name of the game. Uh, you see it all the time, especially at our position, being that backup quarterback, you have to – all those mental reps in practice and, you know, those reps with the twos, they all matter. And when you get in there, you just got to trust yourself and go play. I mean, this year, you know, it was kind of – it was cool to get an opportunity to start for an extended period of time. So it kind of brought you back to those college days and high school days of, you know, being the guy. And, uh, you know, I tell people that was probably the best part about it was just getting that starting rhythm again. You're playing every week. It was, just, it was a lot of fun. Had a blast. Um, obviously, our team was very, very good, which helped helped me out personally and helped us out win, win some games. Um, but, no, I love it down here. I love Central Michigan. And then uh, I've been fortunate to be in one spot pretty much my whole career, and we've loved it. Curious, uh, growing up and uh, being in Lansing, did you ever get a chance to make it to any lug nut games? We went all the time. I mean, all the time. Bunch of firework nights. Um, watched Mark Pryor pitch once. Uh, no, we went all the time. That Mark Pryor game, that's some of the crowdest that this stadium has ever been. Was that a difficult ticket to get? <laughs> I mean, I just remember going there, my dad saying, that's Mark Pryor, so... <laughs> I was pretty young at the time, but I do remember it, so it was cool. Adam, do you have any more questions? I don't think so. Just I, I, the last question, just family related. How is it being a dad? I mean, you've got two little girls. I think uh, the the second one came, I believe, in February. So, what's it like being a dad? Uh, it's great. Uh, full blown girl dad now, rocking it with two, and uh, no, I love it. It's been fun. Um, my wife, my wife kills it. So. They're great kids and um, they make it easy. She's running around right now doing something. I don't, I don't know, but uh, no, they're great. A lot of fun. Keep you on your toes. Um, so far, so good. We're really proud to be able to celebrate you and to host you on Saturday. This is going to be really great. Thank you. No, we're looking forward to it. Can't wait. And all of us, all of us will educate ourselves and catch up on the music of Rush. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Saturday night. Get your Rush bobblehead, your Cooper Rush bobblehead. Listen to some Rush and then laugh you fireworks to follow the game. That's Saturday. This is presented by Shaheen. So there's the logo, but here's everything that's happening. <laughs> and then Cooper, you can tell the girls, you can be like, this is what you need to shoot for someday. Rise <laughs> to this level that you get your own bobblehead. It's a good goal. It's a good goal. The Cooper Rush, Adam Jackson, thank you for taking the time too. You got it, man, Jesse. I'll be fired up on Saturday, by the way, for, for Rush Night. Absolutely. Go. Fire up both of you guys. Fire up. I'm Jesse Goldberg-Shassler. We'll see you on Saturday.